Today we want to show you the process of setting what's called a chase. This is a chase. It's a 10 by 15 inches. That's how we can do it. You ever hear the size of a letterpress in 10 by 15 Chandler Price letterpress? That's how they get the size, the 10, the 10 inch by 15 inch printing space. So that's what this is. It's a chase made out of iron, super solid, heavy, heavy duty. We got this uh, this chase and all the furniture. This wood is called furniture. It's just below type high. Um, all of this came uh, as a gift, if you will, from the gentleman we bought the letterpress from when he when he um, delivered the press. He gave us all this furniture, chase, tools, uh, the locks, the key to lock everything up. So I'm going to show you how that happens today. Um, we're in the process of making our um, I thought of you today greeting card on letterpress. We've already run the black and now we're doing what is going to be blind impression of the of the steam. I carved this out. Um, I don't get to do as much of that as I'd like, but I, I carved out a steam heart in there. You'll be able to see the result later. But uh, anyway, let me show you how this works. So it's kind of like Tetris. You need to lock everything up so it is tight and fits in. So I'm going to take all of these wood blocks called furniture and set them up in the chase. So all sides are flush and even. You can see there's lots of different sizes to help you get there. You don't need to fill up all the space. You just need to lock everything up and these little pieces of wood are very helpful to make sure we get that little extra space taken care of. So that's what's happened here. I'm going to take this key and I like to make a little snug close first just to get everything in there. And then we take this wood block. I like to show you this one because uh, we have no idea how old this is, but look how cool this is, how many times this thing has been hammered. This is how we put this together. So just a quick little flushing tap to get all the furniture down. And you can do it, even though this is a sensitive material, I don't need to because I use my fingers in this case, but you can tap on, on that guy too. So once I've done that, then I feel for flush and I tighten it again all the way and hear that click, we're good and tight. Then I test it on the back to make sure everything's nice and flush and it is. And then from there, we take this chase and lock it into Hazel, our 1930s letterpress. It just locks in right there, it's good.